Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. literally taking you on my journey to how I am finally going to become a dental hygienist slash therapist yes your girl has been accepted into dental hygiene therapy school um and I am this 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 step closer of finally becoming a dental therapist I left um, secondary school not really knowing what I really wanted to do. So guys, when my friends used to be like, oh, so girl, what are you, what are you, you going to be studying? I was literally like, I, I, I don't know, but I just know I have to go to college to do something. My mother's Jamaican. I can't stay up in her household not going to school. You, you must be mad. Me. Now my mother was all I mean, I got school. No good girl. So yes, I had to go to college and I went to college and I did um, business admin. I did it for the sake of doing something and I, I, I absolutely, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it not one bit. So I dropped out on the last year of that course. I did get some form of qualifications, but I didn't get the full qualifications. As I said, like I dropped out at the, you know, in that last year. So up until from 19 to 22, I worked. I worked full time. I worked um, in various different customer service jobs, um, telesales. I did all different kind of call centers that you could possibly think of. And I absolutely hated it, hated it. But I couldn't really do anything about it because I needed the money. I had rent to pay, I had bills to pay. So when I got pregnant around 21, thereabouts, and I went on maternity leave, um, I think I think it must have been like in the last two months of my maternity leave, I started to get really depressed. I started to get really down because I was like, I don't want to go back to working in a call center. I hate it. I I I don't I don't want to do this. And I'm sure there must be so much more out of life than working in a call centre. I'm sure there's, there must be so much more that I can give to my son than me going to work in a call centre to provide for him. And I was like, if if it, and I was like, no, I ain't, no, I ain't, no, I ain't going back. I'm, I'm not going back. So I was like, I can't just not go back. I can't sit down and benefit. I'm gonna have to find something to do. What are you going to do, Renee? So I remember I went on the, like this government website and it had like a list um of careers and i was like okay let's let's go through this because there must be something on this list that you are going to like and enjoy and do but i started to comb through this list and i was like yeah these things ain't mm, i can't see me doing these things i can't see me going into the army i can't see me being a nurse i can't see me being a doctor i can't see me being like there was so much on the list and i was like yeah no i i, ca I can't do this I, like i don't fit i can't see myself doing this so i came across dental nursing i was like oh, what's this nursing but it says dental teeth what what's that Never really had any great interest with teeth, teeth, but throughout the years I can't always get confident. Oh, even though you've got such nice teeth, like you've got nice teeth, you've got nice teeth. So I was like, okay, let me see what this is about. So I clicked on dental nurse and I was like, cool, provide chair side support. I was like, cool, you can do little x rays. So I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. Like, who do they provide chair side support for? Then I saw dental hygienist therapist and the dentist. I was like, oh what are these like what 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 are these what what's this what's going on here and um i started to research into the roles of dental hygiene so i was like oh, okay researched about the therapist i was like mm, okay okay and then the technicians and the dentist i was like you know what this 
sounds pretty interesting so i think i spent that week like really living on youtube um on these different um practitioners within the dental scope and i was like oh my gosh this is really fascinating i could see myself um in this field then i started to watch um what a lot of people would find so disgusting you know them videos where you've got teeth absolutely full of plaque from from me going all the way back crown full of thick green not green but thick yellow um plaque and i'd watch them literally scraping off the plaque and the calculus and given, you know, that person is such a transformation from what we would look at to be absolutely disgusting to something like this. And I felt so satisfied. I was like, oh my gosh. Can you imagine how those people must feel having got no confidence to smile to now can go and show off their, their teeth? I, I Honestly, guys, I, I can't explain it, but... I think at, at that point and the and the weeks that I took to really research and, and, and see, you know, the day in the life of a dentist or day in the life of a dental hygienist and um, what they actually do and the service that they provide, I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I want to do. So I spent weeks after looking in various different ways um, that would bypass me going fully back into education how to get into this field so i was like okay i came across um apprenticeship dental nursing apprenticeship i was like okay go i was like i'm gonna go fix up my cv fix up my cover letter and start applying and, and that's what i did the first few applications i received um, a phone call saying that they'd love for me to come in um, and have an interview at this dental practice which is like it was at the other end of the town that i lived on so i was like okay Pay ten pound in my taxi. I'll go and we'll see how it goes. I prayed and I was like, Lord, you know, I've never wanted to do anything in my life, but I found this thing that I like. You know, do what you gotta do. So they called me back and they were like, Renee, we were really impressed with you at the interview. We would love to offer you a position. And I was like, Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And I was like, Sure, okay, that'd be great. So they sent me over some detail work at eight o'clock and finish at half past five. Bearing in mind I had like a six month old child. As I said, I've I've I'm a single mum. Been a single mum since since pregnancy. And I was like, who the hell is gonna help me with my child? My mum lives uh, I lived in England, my mum lived out in Wales at the time and I was like, yeah, how how the hell am I going to do that? I, for me, he was too young to go into nursery, he couldn't talk if anything was to happen to him. I'm not going to know. Second issue was that they wanted me to work on a Saturday and I was like, oh, I, I can't work on a Saturday. Like my, I'm, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. So I called them and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful that you guys have considered me. I've got no dental background, no um nursing background i've got no health background whatsoever but you guys are so impressed with me that you want to take me on it and I'm, I'm truly thankful i'm truly grateful however these hours i don't know how i can work around them plus um i asked them would i have to actually work every saturday for religious reason like i couldn't work every saturday you were like yeah you you would have to work every it would be required of you to work and i thanked them and i came off the phone and i was like lord i I can't do this. I can't do the hours. I can't commit to the hours because of my young baby. I haven't got anyone who I can, who can help me with him. Plus, you said to keep your Sabbath day holy, and I've already had. I've got my whole long list of sins. Like I am not really trying to add any extra to it. I passed on the offer, and it was really hard. But I kept on telling myself, it'll be okay, it'll be fine, something else will come up. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Guys, nothing else came up after that one position. I'll tell a lie. I think I went to an interview and in the interview they were like, oh, we're going to give you the job. You've got the job. Just wait for us to send you a, a, um, a confirmation email 
that email never came how many years later i still never got that email guys that was literally one of the most that was one of the hardest times in my life because as I said, I've never had a passion for anything. I've never known where my talents lied. I never knew what I was good at. I was never, you know, I I, I didn't know. Well, my friends were like, yeah, we're going to go off. We're going to do this. I'm going to go study to be this. I, I, I had no inclination. I knew nothing what I wanted to do and be for my future. So now to finally be like, yes. I want to go into dentistry, I want to go do the dental nursing and then from there go ahead, further my education, go be a dental hygienist and if anything go right to the top and be a full-blown dentist and then to feel like literally every door kept on shutting in my I applied for apprenticeship after apprenticeship after apprenticeship after apprenticeship. Honestly, I think I applied for every every apprenticeship vacancy in my area in the whole town and I got nowhere I got literally nowhere and it was so heartbreaking it was so demotivating it was just it was just such a negative negative time of my life and I was like God like what is you doing what are you doing I don't get it like is it like your wall for me to just sit down here and be on benefits is it your wall for me to just sit down here and do 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 what work in these little call centers i can't no i can't do that and i see what you're doing for other people no, i can't do that so fast forward a little bit fast forward i think maybe like a year um after i got the opportunity to move out of my hometown and to move to wales where my mum was and i was like you know i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back into education because these apprenticeships and whatever it is i'm trying to do here where i am in my hometown it's not working god clearly does not want me here at all um so i was like okay i'll take the opportunity um and i'll move to wells and go back into education i'll have a proper support system for myself and for my son you know my mum's there my little brother my little sister my stepdad um there was a lot of people who i grew up grew up with in church they had moved to this particular area in wells so i was like okay do you know what let's go let's give it a go and whatever so i did i did an access course there in wells um finished that and i um applied for a few dental nursing courses um across the uk stick a pin i across i applied first for a dental hygiene program dental hygiene and therapy program in cardiff at the time um, just when I was doing my access course and I didn't get into that either and again I was just like I, I, like do I give up do I actually give up because I don't know what the hell is going on and I remember my stepdad turned to me and was like oh I think I think you should just go and do health and social care you know go and be a social worker they, they're desperate and need social workers because as you can see you ain't getting nowhere with this dental thing look how much time you've tried you ain't getting it so get it getting anywhere try it Go try to do something else. And I was like, I sat down there and I listened to him. He was like, to me, I was like, you, you, you don't get it. I don't want to do anything else but this. And even though it feels like every single door is slamming in my face, I ain't going to stop until I hear God's voice literally tell me, girl, this ain't it. And I'm still waiting to hear that voice. And I can't hear it. So... And the following year i applied for a few dental nurses nursing courses across the uk I applied for sheffield middlesbrough portsmouth sheffield middlesbrough portsmouth um where else did i apply for um and two other places but i ended up getting accepted into all five all five schools that i applied for I ended up getting accepted into all five courses and I was like okay where am I actually gonna go and um I was like I don't want to go back anywhere near to where um I was coming from not Wales but the town that I lived in beforehand and a lot of the places that I'd got into they were near to where I'd got in, where I lived before, and I chose Middlesbrough. 
um, and I've been in Middlesbrough now for the past two and a half years. Um, I did the dental nursing course. I got on and I completed it and I completed it during COVID. And that was so difficult because we had to start going to placement. But to God be the glory, I got it done and I finished and I am now a qualified dental nurse. Um, the story did not stop there though, because during that year, I applied to do the dental hygiene and therapy program. Um, I got so <laughs> I got so much help with that whole interview with everything that year from my my course my lecturer my course tutor um, and some of the first years dental therapist that year. When I went into that interview, I felt so confident because I was like, "Yeah, I've got this in the bag." I was wrong. I didn't get in. Um, there was only one girl from our course, um, from our year, who got on. And when she was like, oh, I got on, and I was like, <laughs> I was just like, I was happy for her. But I was like, <laughs> God, I see what you do for other people over, over here. Uh, I took another year out right, and I spent that year writing books. I spent that year really looking into myself, doing some self-development, um, and I applied again. And I applied again, and um, I got on. I got on, I got on, I got on, and it's been, my son is six, so it's been five years, five and a half years of this year. I am today. It's not been an overnight process, it's been literally setbacks after setbacks it's been nights days weeks of tears of wondering you know is this being on benefits going to be my life for the rest of my life is working these dead-end jobs living in a council house going to be my life for the rest of my life is this what my son is this all that i'm going to be able to show my son um it's been a lot of god like why are you doing all these goodness for everyone else and i'm out here trying and not getting anywhere but during those that time um i'm glad i didn't just get on guys do you know what even though this process this whole journey has been difficult it's been bumpy it's been stressful I'm so glad it worked how it worked. I'm so glad that I didn't get on to the apprenticeships in my hometown because I would have been stuck in a place where I needed to get out and to spread my ring wings and to grow. Um, I'm glad that I didn't get on to the course when I applied for it in Cardiff to do the dental hygiene and therapy because I would have dragged a relationship on with me into what should have been my new chapter. I'm glad also that I didn't get on to the dental therapy course when I applied in my dental nursing, when I did my dental nursing, because I had to explore another side of me. I had to untap talents and dig into skills that I never knew was there and that was always there, but I overlooked. Sometimes when we See, we go through things and we go through major setbacks. Yeah, of course, it can be damn hard. It can be really depressing. It can be really soul-wrenching and demotivating. But guys, honestly, trust the process. God knows what he's doing. He sees the bigger picture. He knows what he's bringing you through because he knows what he's going to bring you to. So... If you are at a stage in your life where things seems like it's just not going how it's supposed to, where doors feel like they're constantly being shut in your face, what I'm going to say is going to sound hard, but thank God. Thank God and trust him. Trust the process. Because again, as I said, he knows what he's bringing you through because he knows what he's bringing you to. If you guys have made it this far, I just want to tell you thank you. Um, thank you for sticking it through. 
and I will be sharing with you over the next few weeks um, a day in my life as a single mum doing dental school doing school <laughs> school run working two three jobs um writing books and everything else that i juggle um yeah and just sharing these things hoping that they'll motivate you and help you in your own little journey so guys if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please press subscribe please share this video with your friends please press like Turn that little bell thing on and support your girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Take care, guys. God bless. Bye.